going to cook this one and so cut off this piece of the head and I put it in a pot Every time I cut my yam, I keep the headpiece and I plant it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to plant your yam throughout the year. You don't have to wait till November, December, January before planting your yam head. Come along. This is Princess Lillian's garden and I'm Lillian. Cut the headpiece and I will have small pots in which I will place them with soil so that if I do as many within a week, that's the number of pieces I would have buried in my pots. Take a look at these small containers. I have soil in them. This is what it's like. It's just a container that has large holes. This is a small pot. But you can use any container and just make sure you put holes in it. This is a container and I make the holes at the base by myself. Make sure the holes are large so that as soon as you water, the water is able to flow through and go away. This is yet another one. Now the thing about these pots of soil that you see is that I've actually planted yams in them. I planted a yam in this one in early July and it's been like this. I've made sure that I water it once a week, not too often, but to make sure that it's not dry. That's the important thing. You keep watering it once a week just to ensure that the yam, the soil does not go dry. And I'm going to show you what we have here and see what is expected okay let me just turn it and i'll show you So I'll put this container on the floor. And this is the piece that I put in. Well, I broke one of the roots. But I'm just using this to show you anyway. One of the roots is broken because I tried to bring it out. But then there's still another root. So what happens is, if you put your yam in the soil, you are giving it a head start. So it's going ahead and developing roots right from July. But it will not break surface. It will not grow a shoot and come out of the soil so if you just look as if you have bare ground and you are watching it and you will say oh the yam is not growing what the yam is doing is it is preparing its roots by the time it has finished preparing its roots maybe it's taking two months the end of year has come and the yam wants to go away so it goes into dormancy but while it's in dormancy the roots will still remain alive so that as soon as it's January, it's way ahead of any yam that you're just planting in January. 
this is a very good way to start your yams throughout the year. You can start some if it's during the growing season, like January, February, March, April, May, they will grow. But once you get to about June, July, when they are growing, it will not come out of the soil. It will just be developing roots and spreading it around. You keep on watering it, and by the time you get to five months' time and we hit January, this yam has already got very good root system. It starts to grow out. There's no stopping it. So this is one good way of always cutting that piece, the head of the yam, that you wanted to throw away. You can even make it smaller than this. Just get that little piece that you want to throw away and put it in a pot of soil. Put it in a pot of soil like this, some soil in it, put the yam, put some soil on top. You will find out that by the time January comes the following year, you probably have about 20, 30 pots prepared from all the yams that you've eaten. And with um, good weather, good fortune, your yams will grow and grow big for the year because the roots have already been prepared. The roots have been growing extensively. It's a pity that this one broke, but it will recover. So the roots have been growing extensively. So when you grow your yam out of season, that is between July and December, it won't come out of the soil because it's busy preparing the roots. But you still have that advantage because as soon as it's January, it's going to shoot out and start producing leaves. I'll show you my yam plant so that you can see how well the yams will grow just to give you an idea so now I'm going to pack the soil back put the yam in head down I will put that sorry roots back in which will break down and become a part of the soil you don't use a bag at this point because the bag will rot if it's just being used anyhow you've got to use small containers like bottles and plastic containers that are got holes in them that's what you use just you have can have um, two or three yams if you have a container that is as large as this you will plant one on one side and if you have space you can plant another one without disturbing it you can see the little disturbance and the root is broken you have to make sure you don't disturb it until it has grown properly into a seedling and it's coming out in January that is when you take it out. At this stage, it's only just starting to grow. Don't check it the way I'm checking it. Because the yam is a very delicate plant. This is my yam plant and I've planted it since the middle of last year. It's been growing on and on and you can see it's just got loads of leaves right now. So this is the advantage of having it um, planted, kept in the soil, and you just water it. You will not see it immediately until it's the right time for it to burst out of the soil. And then you will know that the yam is there. It's a great way of getting your uh, yam plant. And the leaves are also good and big the leaves are really very big i'm amazed and it's not showing any signs of uh, slowing down yet when it's time to harvest it i will let you see it's 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope you can plant your yams as you eat you put it in a little pot put soil and water it and very soon at the right time it will grow out this is just a way to get some yams in our home garden that's just like the wasted head of the yam that you would have thrown away always remember to use a form of fungicide maybe ashes or detol every time you want to put your yam head in the soil leave a comment and subscribe thank you bye